Hey friends, happy Friday. Welcome to Yoga Fusion Friday, stress management style, stress relief, stress reduction style. All right, y'all, we're gonna get loose today. We're gonna work our core a little bit, fire our core, get those joints nice and loosened up, work on some mobility and range of motion, and then we're gonna move about our day. All right, y'all, let's get warmed up. We're gonna start feet shoulder width apart. Let's go ahead and just kick that booty. Loosen up those quads. Four, three, two, one. All right, big arm circle, big hip hinge and reach. Come on up, big arm circle, big hip hinge. Finding length from those hips to those fingertips. Nice neutral neck. Good. Two more. And one more. All right, let's go ahead and march opposite arm, opposite leg, firing up that core, finding that shoulder mobility and length in that upper body. Good. Lift and reach, lift and reach. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna get that heart rate up just a little bit here at the beginning. Reach those arms out front like a ballerina, and we're just gonna do a little ballet kick. Point that toe, fire in that core, waking up those hamstrings. Reach and kick. Nice. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Good. All right, go ahead and sit down in that chair. Bring those feet together. Bring those knees together. Push those hips back. Go ahead and stretch into those Achilles. Keep those heels on the ground. A little bit of a calf stretch here. I'm going to start dynamically with a little bit of a pulse just while I feel my muscles loosen up my glutes and hamstrings fire, my core is tucked in tight, my shoulders are backing down, my neck is nice and neutral. Let's go ahead and reach those arms up. Nice, hold that squat. Now hold it in place. And let's lift those heels, right, little pulse, left, warming up those ankles, right, little squat, left, hey glutes. Eight, seven, reach, six, five, heel pop, four, three, two, and one. Hold it down. Bring those hands to heart center. We're going to take a twist here, right elbow to left knee. Big twist. Look up at the ceiling. Big deep breath. Center it back up, reach those arms up, and heel pop, eight, seven, switch, six, five, four, three, two, a little bit faster, one, sit into that chair, hands to heart center, left elbow to right knee, big twist, oh, hey, lower back, oh, Lily, how's that back feeling? And release, reach those arms up, and we're gonna collapse into a big forward fold. Hold it here. Oh, let's let that head hang heavy. Relax those shoulders, ladies. Relax that jaw. Let go of tension, let those arms hang heavy. If it feels good to grab those elbows, go ahead and do that. Rock it side to side. My knees are nice and soft. Big inhale 
inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Four, three, two, and slowly, one vertebrae at a time, let's roll it up. Big shoulder rolls, push them back and down. Three, two, and one. All right, next we're gonna wake up those hip flexors with a reverse lunge. Step back and lunge, reach those arms up. Push those hips forward, big quad stretch, big hip flexor stretch, and alternate. Hold that first one while you wake up those hip flexors, get the feel of it and then we'll speed it up a little bit. Lunge and switch. Reaching that upper body from your head all the way through your hips. I want a nice straight line. Your core is tight. Your core is where your balance comes from. Good. Six, good. Five, good. Four, excellent. Three, whew, two, and one, beautiful job. Shoulder roll, come on out wide. Toes turn out, let's wake up those inner thighs. Give me a little shift right to left. Waking up those inner hips. Work out that crepitus. Get that snap, crackle, and pop up out of there. Then we're gonna sit up tall and find our second position or our sumo squat. Hold it here. Give me a little bit of a pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, sweep it down, reach it up, sweep it down, make it big, <sighs> inhale, <sighs> exhale, sweep, shoulder roll back and down. Clasp those arms behind. Roll those shoulders back. Open that chest. Head back. All right, while we're here, 
here, let's go ahead and go ahead and hit that chest opener. So much time, we're shopping online, we're cooking, we're wrapping, we're at our computer. Those muscles on the back get stretched out, the muscles on the front get really tight. It causes posture imbalance. Let's stretch these chest muscles out and roll those shoulders back and down. Forearm against the wall, or a door frame works really well too. And big shoulder chest opener. And gently release with fingertips on the wall for balance. Outside leg, hip swing. Hip swing, we should be nice and warmed up. Let's just make sure, shake out any tension, shake out any kinks, nice soft knee. Four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and cross that ankle over that knee. Push those hips back. Oh, this is a deep stretch. This is a big one. Reach forward, let go if you can. Sit into it. Nice. <sighs> big inhale, big sigh out. All right, let's switch it over to the other side. Forearm on the wall. Start with that chest opener. And come on up, outside leg. We've got those hip swings. Let go of tension in that lower back. Four, three, two, one. Ankle over that knee, sit into it. Oh, big hip opener. Find your balance if you'd like. Shake it out. All right, let's move into our core work. Couple deep breaths here. In through your nose. Out your mouth. In through your nose. Out your mouth. Oh, it feels so good. All right, we're gonna come to walk it out, so big inhale, big fold, we're walking it out to a high plank. Walking it out to a high plank, engaging that core, nice strong high plank. All right, get yourself set. We're gonna lift that right leg, up and tap, up and tap. Eight, little lift and tap. Six, five, Four, three, two, hold the plank, push up to downward dog. Big stretch here. Shift forward to plank, up to downward dog. Four, forward to plank, up to downward dog. Three, two, and one. Drop those knees, come to tabletop. All right, make a couple big circles. All right, staying with the right leg, I'm gonna flip around so you can see me, right leg, you're gonna lift up, push back, pull in, set down, up, Back, in and down. Eight, push, pull and lower. Seven, you got it. Hip opener. Five, very good. Four, three, good. Two, and one, set it down, push
push it back, big stretch. Let's hit the other side. All right, let's first shift from child's pose, tuck those toes under, child's pose, pop up to plank and hold. Oh yeah, pull it back, lengthen, pop up and hold. Drop those knees, pull it back, pop up and hold. Three more. Two. And one, nice. Pop up and hold. All right, reset that plank. Find your strong plank position, lift that left leg for 10 and tap. Nine and tap. Eight and tap. Seven and tap. Six, tap. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees. Maybe in tabletop. Let's rotate the other direction. All right, we've got that hip opener, glute engager. Flex that ankle, open that knee, push it back, in and down. Nine. Make it big. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Excellent. Come on down. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Make a C curve. Head to hip. Squeeze and switch. And find neutral spine. Let's cat and cow. Exhale and round. And neutral spine. All right, let's go ahead and flip it over. We got a couple we're gonna do on our backside. We're almost there, y'all. Come on down. Let's bring those knees into your chest. Give me those ankle rolls. Let's get that ankle work in. In reverse. <laughs> And bring one knee in, stretch one leg out. You get to decide if that heel touches the ground and rests or hovers. You decide. Shoulder blades curl up off the ground, pull in and switch. It's a crunch and a stretch simultaneously. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, four, Three, two, and one. Hold the right leg in. Gently drop that head. Hold it here. I'm going to grab that ankle and pull, pull this leg in. Your leg can be straight or bent. And release. Let's switch sides. Reach up under that ankle and gently pull that leg in. This is an inverted pigeon stretch. And release. All right, lift those shoulder blades off the mat. This time, stretch one leg out and one leg up. We're going straight leg, pull and switch. Straight leg, pull and switch. Dynamic hamstring stretch. Mine are tight. I don't know about you. 
Every pull gets a little bit looser. You can flex those ankles, point those toes, whatever feels good. Four, three, two, and one. Come on down, nice job. Stretch those arms out to the sides. Let's drop those knees to one side. And roll them to the other side. And one more. knees in. Tuck those thumbs under those hips for support. Hips come up, kick out, and up. Kick out, tuck, kick up, tuck. Out, tuck, heels to the ceiling. Heels to the wall, heels to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Hold it out, hold it out, and hold, and hollow hold right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Big deep breath. All right, we got one more, friends. We're going to do a rock and a boat hold. You're going to rock back, come on up, find your balance. Rock back, come on up, see if you can find your balance. Rock, balance and hold. There it is. Rock, balance and hold. If you want to add, rock, balance, extend. Rock, hold, extend. Rock, tuck, extend, good, rock, tuck, extend, good, four, extension is optional, hold your balance, fight for it, three, little back massage, hold, 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 two, let go if you can, one more, we're going to hold, one more and hold, 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 eight, seven, six, Five, knees can be bent or straight. Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> How'd you do? Oh, we did it, y'all. Come on up. Find a comfortable seated position. Let's just roll our neck out. Shoulders are back and down. Give me a twist. more. Hands behind your head and big opener here. All right, y'all, if you want to sit up, you can. If you want to lay back and find Shavasana, you're just going to extend those legs, palms up, Starting with a heavy head, a relaxed jaw, release tension from those shoulders. Notice your lower back and your hips. Just let them relax, let those legs relax, let those feet fall out. Let your body melt into the mat while I read our Advent thought of the day. All right, Jesus sets you free. The scripture excerpt is from Isaiah 61, verses 1 through 3. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness 
from the prisoners, for the prisoners, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting for the Lord for the day of his splendor. All right, let's see if I can shut off my music real quick. Hang on one second. All right, y'all, here we go. Um, here's, our, here's our devotional thought. In Luke's gospel, Jesus made a powerful declaration when he said, the promise spoken in Isaiah 61 was fulfilled through him. He claimed that he was the one who could set the prisoner free. He alone would lift up those who had been trampled by circumstances and shattered dreams. He would cause the blind to see. So if you are paralyzed by grief or blinded by anguish, Jesus is the place where healing begins. Even if your life has been reduced to ashes, Jesus has the power to rebuild and restore. Reach out for him and let him take your hand. He's not trying to take something for you, but to do something for you. He's not trying to take something from you, but to do something for you. Something he alone can do. I've been reminded this week a very similar, a very similar idea that we we were we were created um, for eternity and so we have a place in us that longs for eternity for heaven for things to be made whole and things to be made right however on this side of eternity uh, that's not the way that's not the way it is and so I get stuck in frustrated with brokenness and when I see things when I experience things that aren't as they should be it's that place in me that's longing for eternity for things to be made whole and for things to be made right and ultimately it, I'm longing for him and so if you're struggling today with brokenness around you or grief like the devotion talks about anguish or despair uh, Jesus is the answer, um, and he is where healing begins. So here's our prayer. Father, thank you that your mission all along has been to lift those who have been pounded by the waves of life, to free those imprisoned by addiction, sin, and shame. Father, when I felt left behind for dead, discarded, and forgotten, you sent Jesus to save my life. Give me the grace to rest in your freedom today, to trust that you are not finished with me. Amen. All right, y'all. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, I'll see you very soon. I love y'all so much. Bye.